So we have finally reached the end of our tool section. We are lastly going to discuss just the last simple tools and also discuss briefly here downstairs what is this. We've covered it slightly throughout the course already, but I just want to go over it once more again. Also, I've teached you all the most important tools that you need to know for now. And yeah, have fun practicing with these tools. Let's also get right away here to the hand tool, which is already selected. And right away, you guys can see this tool is only here to move around the complete canvas. So while I'm in the application frame, I'm able to move this around. Also in the big frame, the full frame. And then as well, if we just have a small canvas like this selected, it just goes up and down with the scroll function. So very, very simple. But how do I mostly use this tool? Say for instance, if I have now the magic tool or magical lasso tool selected here, I'll do a quick selection here, finish that up, I'll zoom in, but now I want to move over. So do I do this with the move tool? No, because this will move obviously your whole picture layer and everything. You have to have spacebar selected and then move around in your image, especially if you zoomed in. Let's get out of the selection and just zoom around a little bit in our picture. Let's just move around. So again, when you work with your image, press Z for the zoom. Again, right away, you also see now the zoom is selected. So press Z, click with the mouse and keep on dragging. So again, drag in or again, drag out in order to zoom in and out. If you are not familiar with this and if it's struggling, again, use the navigator over here. But for the beginning, navigator should be good, but also the zoom, it's not too complicated to work with this. And again, if you want to walk around in your image, hold spacebar and move around. These tools you should right away memorize because Z is your friend and spacebar too. All right, guys, that's basically it all about the tools, the basic things you need to know right now. Let's also move over here again to these three little buttons. If you select those, again, hit right click, edit toolbar, and you can also experiment more with all of these other tools that I haven't mentioned throughout the course. These are not so important right now. These are more important. So, but if you want to customize yours, play a little bit around and try out some other tools as well. I'm going to hit done again and go to the next step, which is again our foreground colors, black and white. Remember, we talked briefly about this. If you double tap on it, it goes back to the color picker. You can choose new colors again as your foreground and your background color. Remember again on masks for layers, it's only black and white. Again, white to show and black to hide. Let's also just put this back with D, so switching it back to the normal original colors, black and white, and X to change foreground colors. Then also down here, we have again our quick mask mode, again to brush, sorry, let's get out of that again, select the brush, and we paint, and again, right away, we are masking areas. Also, let's work here just with 100% opacity, okay, 100%, and then we are drawing a little bit. And again, out of this, and right away, we have a round selection here. So again, we covered also the mask tool over here. Command D, get out of this selection again. So press Command D. Once again, you can select the quick mask mode. You can select the brush right now. Then alter the brush again with Control and Alt. Change your hardness. Zoom in with Z. Zoom in a bit closer. Press B on the keyboard again. And also the hardness Ach, the size is pretty big, so change the size. And now just simply brush on here again in order to create a selection. Very, very easy. So you have a ton of different options now to create selections in Photoshop, either with the lasso tool, with the pen tool, with the magnetic lasso tool, with the marking tool, with the quick selection. It's all up to you what method you will use. For me personally, the pen tool always wins over everything and it's just very, very precise. Once you have done your selection, brush this in, go out of the quick mask mode here again on the left side, select it and right away we have a selection again. And remember, now you can again work on masks with this, brush stuff on this, create new empty layers, do anything that you like into this. Again, just always remember to add a new layer. Press Command D get out of the selection and that was also a quick short introduction here into the quick mask mode. It's not too complicated, just select it, brush and deselect it and you have your selection. Also one more mode here that we still have is again the full screen mode, it gives you a warning again, don't be scared, your layout will disappear like this and if you want to escape press F or escape. I'm going to hit F and F once again and then obviously like I always do, I always keep the application frame off 
Once I start with Photoshop, I drag in my image, open it or import it under File, New or Open, and then I hit F right away and we are back to our frame, not distracted by the background. What we've discussed again in the first layers of the course.